Okay, I'm about to tell you guys something that I feel like could get me in a lot of trouble, but I just don't care. Okay, so you know how UFOs are always seen over nuclear facilities? There is this book, a little book that no one's really read called The Kingdom of the Gods by Geoffrey Hudson that I think explains why this happens, but it's way crazier than you think. Okay, so in this book, which I'm literally reading, he talks about these beings who have teachings of arcane wisdom that we are ignoring. He warns us in the book, he says, continued neglect of these teachings of the arcane wisdom by a race, which is us, led by science into knowledge and practical use of the one creative force, which is plasma, by the way, of which angelic hosts are the chief and subordinate where angelic hosts are the chief and subordinate engineers can lead to disastrous consequences of which the Hiroshima and Nagasaki atom bombs might possibly be regarded as foreshadowings. Basically, just like fusion harnesses plasma or is attempting to but is having trouble because there's turbulence, that is because plasma is alive, it is sentient. There are plasma beings. That's the holders of arcing wisdom and they don't want to be used for fusion. I've actually had this channel to me as well, but I was like, no, but it's true. He also shows pictures of them in the book. This looks a lot like a plasma bean to me. Plasma is known as the fourth state of matter, but there are actually a lot of metaphysical and mystical properties that not a lot of people know about. I'm writing a book about it. It's not just an ionized gas. Plasma beings can also be known as interdimensional beings, aliens, archetypes, nymphs or fairies, will-o'-wisps, jinns, angels, I could go on. Last thing before I say something really crazy, he basically says in the book that he hopes what he's saying will lead to a discovery and a reverence for the noumena behind this phenomenon, behind plasma behind this arcane wisdom. So hopefully people like me and you will get the word out there that they don't want this. They want us to use them for our body intelligence, to connect with other beings, with other dimensions, with our hearts. They want their energy to be used not with technology, but with human biology, our own body technology, not machines. The human is, you are so powerful and you can connect in this field organically and use this literally for magic and psi abilities, like telepathy. No, I'm not joking. Remote viewing, astral projection, that's a whole nother topic. Anyway, here's real world proof. There are many groups that do not support fusion. This specific group warns that Americans have a propensity to believe that new technologies can help improve their lives. We're technological optimists. The more technology optimistic someone is, the more they're likely to support fusion energy. Interesting. Harnessing this optimism could help grow our economy, tackle climate change, and address international security and energy concerns. But here's the thing. There's actually way more ways to have clean energy that we don't need. We do not need fusion energy, guys. There's a reason they want to use fusion energy, they. I don't know why. That's a whole nother topic I'll look into. All I know is that they don't want us to use it, them for that. What I am being told, I feel like what this book is inferring is that there's so many other ways to use clean energy that we already actually have access to. It is up to us to change the world. A new technology is not going to save us. Fusion will not save us. We can save ourselves. And by taking accountability, if we all cleaned up after ourselves and really opened our hearts and didn't have war, violence, didn't trash the earth, we wouldn't need fusion. We can fix the earth right now with the tools we have. Just like when you future trip in your life and you think, oh, this will fix this, this will fix this. Nothing fucking fixes it. The present will fix it. We need to look what we have now. They want us to expand our consciousness. Technology is a cool tool, yes, but it's not the answer. The answer, the answer is within us, our own power, which people don't want you to know. Because capitalism will probably fall apart. I'm just being honest, not conspiracy theorists. I'm just being truthful. One more thing on energy. I don't know if I'm correct. I'm not a scientist. There are better ways than fusion. I don't know if it has to do with like hydrogen or something within the plasma field, but instead of harnessing plasma, I think there's a gift that these beings want to give to us that has clean energy. I think Nikola Tesla might have been on the right track. 
I could be completely wrong, but I just feel like it has something to do with that. But basically, the government can't make as much money off of it, so they buried it. No, I sound nuts. But I'm just putting it out there. I'm going to de dive deeper into it for you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you have any suggestions for better energy than fusion, better ways to save the world, what you think about that we can only save ourselves, and what you think about these plasma beans. I'm interested to hear what you guys think about this. Bye.